Hi, my name is Tyler Bridge, and I'm a professional piper and music educator. Today I'm going to talk about the Great Highland Bagpipe and how it works. There are two main elements to the sound of the bagpipe, the drones and the chanter. First, let's talk about the drones. There are two tenor drones and one bass drone. Each of these drones is a tube with a series of chambers that creates a single sound. A single bladed reed is inserted into the bottom of the drone, and as air passes through it, the tongue of the reed vibrates to create sound. All three drones are tuned to the same note, with the tenors being one octave higher than the bass drum. This note is the fundamental tone, or tonic, of the bagpipe scale. Tuning is achieved by sliding the top chamber of the drone up and down to increase or decrease the overall length and change the pitch of the note produced. The three drones must be very precisely tuned to exactly the same note so that they blend together into a single sound. Next is the chanter. This is a tube with a conical bore and holes drilled along its length. The holes are covered and uncovered by the player's fingers in order to produce different notes. There is a double-bladed reed made of cane seated in the top of the chanter, and as air passes through the reed, it vibrates and produces sound. Each hole on the chanter is associated with a specific note in the bagpipe scale, and must be precisely tuned to blend with the sound of the drones. Specific notes on the chanter are tuned by adding or removing tape from each hole. The reeds in the drones and the chanter are driven by air produced by the player. The sound of the bagpipe is able to continue without interruption through the addition of a bag which acts as a reservoir of air. The drones and chanter are inserted into the bag. The player then fills the bag with air from their lungs using a tube and increases the air pressure to the point where the drones and chanter produce a steady sound. When the player needs to take a breath, they press on the bag with their arm to maintain the air pressure on the reeds. This cyclical technique allows the player to sustain the sound of the instrument, but requires a high degree of skill to do so without any audible changes to the sound when taking a breath. Now with all of that out of the way, let's have a tune. <laughs> 